welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, I'm going, I'm going to show you how you can do split screens for uh, videos. Because I was on Quora and I've seen someone asking this question right here. What is the best program to use to do a split screen in a video? Well, the short answer is there is no best programs. You can do it pretty much with any uh, video editing program. It's just that I use DaVinci Resolve 15 because I'm a fan. And I'm going to show you how you can do it in the Vintage Resolve 15. So the first thing you should have is your two different clips that you're, gonna, that you're going to split. Or you can split the same clip, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put the two clips in the timeline. And I'm going to get rid of the audio because you cannot have two different audios playing at the same time. It just doesn't sound right. So delete selected and delete selected. So the first way and the easiest way would be to put this clip on top of this clip and you go to inspector and you look for cropping. There you go. So you can crop left, for example. Nice play. Or you can, of course, crop right if you wish. Like this. And you can add as many uh, clips as you want. Um, it's not going to be a problem. You can, you can do the same technique for as many clips as you want. You can have three clips in one video can have as many as you want, if not a problem. Delete selected. And then again, you just, sorry about that. And of course you can click on the clips you selected and crop these clips however you want. Sorry about that. I just answered just that. And here you go. So this is one way to go about it. The second way, uh, just a minute, I have to delete everything to show you the other way you can do it. Just delete this. So again, you can just drag your clips. Oops. You can just drag your clips here. And after you got your clips on the timeline, again, you do the same thing. You just put one on the top of another and make sure you have these on. This is the transform button. It looks like a square. And of course, you just adjust the square however you want. And of course, you can have as many clips as you want and put a nice music and you can, of course, animate these. For example, if I put this here, it's going to play. And then it's going to appear a lot of things that you can uh, do with this. And of course, the square here, uh, the square here won't appear when it's rendered. And that pretty much it. So I hope this answers the question. Uh, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like what you've seen and if you learned something. So thank you and see you on the next one.